Is this uh, this feels good for you as it does for me? Hi, long time no see. It's been it's been five years. Probably thinking if you used to watch me on this channel, you're probably thinking who's this old guy on Sean's channel who's standing in Sean's old room talking to us. Bad news, it's just me. This is age old age is a. B I am 27. It's the first of January, 2024. This day next month, I turn 28, which is kind of scary. Last video I posted on this channel, I believe I was 22. So we're looking at five, possibly six years later, depending on the exact times and stuff. We know we're not gonna get into the specifics of that. It's been a little while, but I'm, I'm pretty excited to be back, I won't lie. I've got a couple of things to go through and address. A lot to address, really. It's been, it's been five years, who am I kidding? A hell of a lot has happened in that five year period. John, it's been, it's been five years. Where have you been? Why are you back? Well, okay, let's start with where I've been. You might remember I did a, a series called My College Life, about me going to college trying to get my degree, going to the gym, balancing both, doing all that fun stuff while trying to do a bit of YouTube on the side as well. And ultimately I did end up getting my degree uh, and I ended up getting a job in the corporate world. And for the last five years, I've been working in the corporate world, in tech sales to be specific, for two pretty large companies that a lot of people might know. That's that's what I thought I wanted to do. I thought I wanted to pursue a job in, in, in business, in, in tech, you know, build out my career, you know, more of a, a kind of a linear path that most people would take. Knock this YouTube, Instagram, social media thing on the head. Honestly, at the time, I didn't love it as much as I thought I did um, when I started. I said, right, I'm gonna give this corporate thing a go. I realized probably about three years in that I miss doing this a lot and lied to myself a little bit about it to say, yeah, no, Sean, don't worry, you still made the right decision. You, you definitely don't regret leaving YouTube, all that fun stuff behind. But I suppose I've, I've come to my senses over the last number of months. Okay, so a little bit of a, a rewind to last year. If I'm being honest, last year was probably the first year that I've ever experienced where I genuinely struggled a little bit mentally. On paper and on the outside, everything seemed really good. You know, I was I was living in town in a nice apartment with one of my good friends. Uh, from my childhood, we were, you know, having a great time. It was kind of cool, you know, nice apartment, nice area. Finally moved out of home, which I am back in now. We'll touch on that in a few minutes. But I wasn't happy in my job i wasn't happy you know with, with my my life i guess at the time i, I just kind of felt in a rut and I, and I don't want to sound too dramatic here because there are i know tons of people you know firsthand who have real mental health issues and this this was not that you know i'm i'm not trying to say like per me or anything here i just wasn't happy or as happy as i thought i could be so i said right i need to make a change started december um, i handed in my notice i quit my job pretty good job and i was like I, I, this this is not making me happy. This is not fulfilling me in any way, shape or form. I need to go back to doing what I love. I need to make a change and I need to make a pretty dramatic change. And I am. Uh, I'm currently back living in my parents' house in my old home here. Uh, I moved back at the start of December. I'm here until the 10th of January. And on the 10th of January, I am moving to Sydney, Australia. A oh, really original Irish guy in his mid twenties, late twenties, <coughs> moving to Sydney, like everybody else, a fancy change. Now, I've got a lot of friends over there. Uh, one in particular who you, you guys might recognize, a familiar face, uh, name starts with D, uh, ends in Anno, not a big deal. Anyway, I said, what's the most dramatic change I can make? Let's move to the other side of the world. You know, what? what's the worst that can happen? But on top of that, you know, I've, I've decided that I, I don't want to work in the corporate world at the minute. Um, I want to give YouTube go. I want to pursue what I'm actually passionate about. Probably going to be sacrificing money for fulfillment. I'm not trying to sound like a motivational coach here or, you know, chase your dreams, guys. But I am, in a sense, because that is what I'm doing for myself because I feel like it will actually make me happier. Why Sydney? I guess the lifestyle, the weather, the lifestyle and the weather. But yeah, everybody, everybody who's gone who I know seems to be having a great time. Yeah, that gives a little bit of context as to where my mindset was and, and where I'm at now. And so ultimately, why am I why am I back? Why am I back on YouTube? What do I want to get out of this? And I suppose what I want to get out of this is giving it another shot, giving it a really good go. And that's that's why I've been so dramatic with the way that I've kind of quit my job, moving countries. If I'm being super honest, I've always had backup plans and fallbacks, you know, even the degree while I was doing this YouTube thing originally, I've always had a backup plan in case plan A didn't work. And I honestly think that for me to succeed at something right now, I need no backup plan. I don't need to just go at it 100%. And that's what I intend to do here with this. Because obviously this channel was always historically focused around fitness content. I 
fully intend to go back towards that level of content. I've still been training really hard over these last five years. You know, I, I probably can't tell. I know. Don't worry about it. But yeah, when I when I get to Sydney, I, I fully intend to to launch back into you know gym videos, tutorials, instructional videos. What I know, what I've what I've done before, what I like to think I was pretty good at previously, and what ultimately built this audience to begin with. So at the minute, I've been I've been dieting here for the last seven or eight weeks because when I get to Sydney, it's going to be the peak of summer. It's like arriving over in July when I get there. Um, pretty tough dieting over Christmas. Wouldn't recommend, especially not when you move back to your family home and it's full of sweets and goodies the whole time. We are definitely going to get back to our fitness roots, but also if there's anything in particular you'd like to see, like, you know, maybe, maybe you're like, Sean, let's, let's see you do some impressions. I don't know why you would like to see that, but you know, maybe, maybe you want to see me ride a bike, like the bridge, you know, maybe something, something like that. I'm sure there's a bridge in Sydney I could bike. In fact, there's a big one, the Sydney Harbour Bridge. I'm going to bike it. Apart from that, let me know what you would like to see from me content wise, and I will do my best to oblige, unless of course your suggestion is silly in which case I will immediately disregard it and, and move on with my day. I wanna be able to deliver value on this platform. I, I feel like there's there's no point in coming back and uploading videos if you're not gonna be providing value to the audience. I've got a lot of quite specific goals to me that I want to reach this year. And I wanna ultimately make this my job, which is, is scary because I haven't done it in five years and now I'm coming back and saying, this is my job. So I would love anybody who's watching this feedback. And I, honestly, again, being a little bit vulnerable and super open here. I'm I'm very scared to post this again right now. I have no idea who's watching, how many people are watching, if anybody cares or is interested because it's been so long. Genuinely, if you are watching this right now, I really appreciate it. If you're new here, somehow if this is your first video of me you've stumbled upon and you like the cut of my jib, please feel free to, to stay. As I said, I, I plan on being very consistent with my videos. Uh, I'm gonna be aiming for one video a week. Keep it, let's keep it. Super simple, let's upload the same time every day. Let's beat that YouTube algorithm, you know, let's uh, let's come out on top of all this. But yeah, once I get to Australia, I will have a few further updates. I'm gonna be launching into some coaching again. Again, I'm, I'm choosing what I'm actually passionate about and what I want to pursue. More details of that to follow once I have everything set up on my end. I really hope that you enjoyed this. I, I didn't want to make it too long. I wanted to keep it pretty short and sweet, let you know that I'm back, let you know what my plans were moving forward, let you know why I'm back and hopefully I've done that well enough here today. If you've enjoyed the video, please make sure to drop it a like, leave a comment if, you, if you're if you that way inclined to, to say something about it and uh, subscribe if you're new here. But yeah, look, I, I just wanted to, to quickly make this video, let you guys know what my plan is, you know, update, update you on what's been going on in the last five years, outline my plans for moving forward for this year. It's, it's the 1st of January. 2024. I'm really hoping it's going to be a, a great year for me. I'm hopeful it can be a really good year for you too. There's no reason it can't be. Like I said, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this far and uh, I will see you all very soon.